Hi, this is a uh, a review video, really. It's or a sort of a review, anyway. Uh, it, I'm wanted. To, I've done painting Lauras and style style of painting Lauras, etc. But uh, another way I use Lauras quite a lot is to um, style and theme environments and interiors. So I thought I would do a run through of the ones I use and some other ones that are quite popular. Uh, they're all available on Suet AI. Uh, I hope I've got most of the names right. So this is the setup I use to test them and because there's so many variables I can't do uh, very wide ranging tests so I've tried to do a, a test that will cover most of the options and give you some idea of how each one performs. So I did an interior detailers, what I call detailers, and they're using this prompt here, which is a spaceship corridor, metal floor, panels and curves, compass in intricate. That's the keyword for the particular Laura. So there's just that and the keyword for Laura. And for the outside ones, I wanted architecture. So I've, I've done architecture here and here again is the keyword for, the, for this current Laura. I've done it image to image with a very, very basic guide image. I wanted to make it as hard as possible for the Lauras so I could see exactly what they did and what they didn't do and what they could handle and whether they stuck to this vague compositional guide. And I did each of them at two strengths. So very strong one and D-Noise 75 and the other one was 0.5 the D-Noise at 0.6. So there's will be two examples of each in in two sets. So that's it. This is a completely bog standard image to image. As they say, nothing to see here. And I've not done any Lauras that are are of for specific use. There's one that might be fairly specific, but is actually quite general purpose. So there's no specific robots or anything like that. Okay, so on to the examples. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're doing spaceship corridors first. Uh, this is what you get with no Laura. As you see, the, uh, the low strength one is not very inspiring and it does vaguely stick to my uh, rough guide. So there we have it. That's what no Laura does. The first up is one called Welded, which is, does welded steel plates. And it's quite a nice Laura. Uh, it, it does good details. Maybe, maybe, you know, I would use it at quite lower levels than on the right. As you see on the right, it rather overtakes everything. But a good Laura, nonetheless, and I can, you know, I can see you using it on, you know, anything mechanical and modern. But it has quite a nice um, structural feel as well. So next up is one that is... Uh, generally for a single purpose, which is making UFOs. But it's actually quite a, uh, an adaptable Laura. So at uh, strength, low strength, it just does a rather sad little UFO on a road. But at higher strengths, it, it, it does rather nice details, and often curved and nicely shaped. It doesn't take much notice of the composition at higher, higher levels. Here we are, scrap built AI which sort of leans towards the steampunky uh, junk world sort of thing. It, it, it's not great on the finish, and I wonder how high res the um, images it was trained on were, but I find it's quite a useful law, and it you can use it for um, urban decay and, um, you know, anything that's in a street that needs to be a bit run down and so forth. And it does quite nice, subtle colour scheme. So I, I, I use this one here and there, but very rarely very strong. This is Orc Style, which is a very strong Laura and uh, a very nice Laura. Sort of it does also enamelled casings and uh, the colour scheme is always green and gold, which is a little bit limiting, I suppose, but, uh, but a very nice Laura uh, with a nice feel and nice finishes uh, and nicely sort of uh, worn surfaces which I rather like. Here we have Mech Dystopia, strong or what? <laughs> this will swallow your prompt hole and give you uh, 
give you mechanical madness. But um, again, floors are all in, in lower, lower levels. It, and it's stuck um, on the lower levels. It's stuck to the composition guy quite well, I suppose. Here we are, Mechanicus style, which is rather like the Orc style, but with a different colour scheme and uh, slightly more gothic -y, um magical incantation sort of shapes. But again, a very nice Laura. Uh, can be used at lots of different strengths. And uh, just a, a good Laura generally, I quite like that one. Here we have Envy Industrial Sci-Fi. Very strong Laura. I only use it at low levels here and there. Not not their fine. There's a lot of Envy Lauras and they're mostly pretty good. Uh, this one, it's okay. Uh, I use it as a detailer really only. Envy Junk World, another very strong Laura. It will dominate at high levels and, and you, you can see that there's there's no hint of a spaceship corridor on the high strength. It's forgotten about spaceships entirely and just does its thing. But um, the details are nice, colour schemes are nice, a very usable Laura. Here's a very um, specific one, brushed steel. Well, it does brushed steel. <laughs> you can't argue with that. But um, quite a nice Laura. You can use it at low strengths to smooth things off and give everything a bit of a sheen. So here we are. Again, no Laura here. And this is the architectural one with an arcade and so forth. I'm mostly looking for um, how it handles the whole scene. So, you know, have we got everything we asked for? Uh, so we asked for cliffs, we asked for the buildings and the arch and the stormy sky and the rough sea. And uh, so this is what no Laura at all produces. Art Deco style, very strong Laura. Um, it, uh, super decorative, uh, but it, it's delivered everything. It's delivered cliffs and a stormy sky and a rough sea. Uh, even at even at low levels, it's uh, delivered everything we asked for. Uh, I don't. I never use it as strong as one, but uh, but uh, as you see, a, a, a good Laura and quite flexible at different levels. This is derelict concrete. I know these two are quite uninspiring, but um, I find this a very useful Laura just to take the edge off some of the other architectural Lauras, and I use it in combination with them. So if I'm doing a sort of Art Deco-y architectural or Baroque architectural image, then if you add this one at slightly low levels, then it takes the perfect edge off it and makes it a bit more rough and ready. It's a very useful law. I know this is, it hasn't done very, anything very inspiring here, but it has delivered everything we asked for. The rough sea, the cliffs, the town, the arch and the stormy sky. And this is one it goes quite well with. This is um, Brutalism, which uh, uh, again is quite a flexible Laura. You can use it at different levels. Again, to take off that perfection and over, over stylization that you get with some of the other architectural Lauras. And uh, I like this Laura a lot. I think it's a very useful Laura. And here we are with a, a more general purpose Laura, more artful, kind of big chunky Laura. On the left, the low level, it, it does quite a nice job. You've got everything we asked for there, and everything's quite elegant. And as you see, at higher strengths, it gives a very nice um, tonality and richness uh, to the image, and it sticks pretty well to the composition guide, if you see where the horizon is. It's uh, reflected that pretty well. So a very nice Laura. Uh, again, I don't often use it at full strength, but it plays well with uh, other architectural lauras and stuff. And this is another one, possibly my favourite all-purpose laura by Eldritch Adam. All of Adam's lauras are very, very nice indeed. I mean, this this really sticks to the composition. That the even at the high level, the focus is in the right place, the lights in the right place, the shapes of the composition are in the right place. Uh, a very, very useful all-purpose Laura. It always adds a nice style to anything. Um, obviously, it's not good for photographic stuff, but I don't do photographic stuff, and I'm not focused on that, really. So that's uh, my favourite Laura. Uh, this is another Envy, Future Utopia, which will, again, walk all over your prompt. A little incoherent, as their Lauras often are quite incoherent with lots of uh, horrible colour schemes and stuff, but they make very useful Lauras nonetheless at lower lower levels. 
So I, I wouldn't use this too strong. It will ignore your composition. It will ignore everything you say to it, essentially, and just do its thing. This is an envy Gothic architecture. There is a series of Gothic architectures and the, the, of different... Uh, this one is not great. It doesn't produce nice architecture. Low points, I don't use it. I, I don't even keep it in, in the Laura folder, but it, it's sort of quite interesting and can be used in uh, sort of Gothic horror -y sort of stuff, I suppose. Another one, Envy Norman architecture. This one is... I put it in because I occasionally use it to... Um, at low levels to uh, help with blocky sort of fort castly type buildings but I don't know that it's not Norman it's Gothic there's no pointed arches in Norman all Norman arches are round so the Laura doesn't even make any sense architecturally uh, a poor Laura. Envy Streamline uh, again another very strong lean Laura which will walk all over your walk all over your image but an extremely useful Laura. At low levels, it will give everything a sleekness. It'll give cars a sleekness. It'll give architecture a sleekness, domes and so on. It, it's a very, very strong Laura. I'm often using it at 0.2, but it, it, it's an extremely useful Laura. I use a lot. A very, very good Laura. So this is uh, Envy Urban Decay. Quite a nice Laura. Uh, goes well with the derelict concrete and the uh, brutalism one. Quite useful, again, for roughing stuff up. Uh, it, it, a, a very adaptable Laura, very good one. Ethereal Grace, uh, absolutely horrible at high levels. <laughs> Gives this set of horrible, nasty painted style, which I, I don't like. I mean, you may like it, uh, I shouldn't be too judgmental. But at low levels, it's a very useful Laura and does very beautiful... Um, painted finish and very elegant um, shapes and buildings. So I, I, I use that, uh, use it quite a lot. I think it's a very nice Laura. Here we have Fantasy Art Deco. Uh, this is another Envy one. Well, what do we say? It's, um, again, it will walk all over, over your, um, all over your prompt and all over your composition, but uh, quite a useful Laura. I, I use it for adding a little bit of fantasy and decoration and things at low levels. And this is one strange one called Pastel Fairy Tale. Pretty horrible <laughs> at high levels. However, it gives a rather nice, delicate feel at lower levels. So I, I use that one a, a fair bit. But again, at low levels and just a sort of background feel. And this is Diesel Punk. This one's got slightly out of place it's meant to be in the uh, spaceship he runs but never mind very strong laura very good laura nice color schemes just very good very strong i used it at quite low level back to the elven this is envy elven architecture uh, quite a good laura I, I i like this laura it does what it says on the tin really um does elven -y sort of architecture it's a nice sea and nice skies uh, a very useful laura a very useful Laura. Um, so I hope that's useful and interesting. It's a very quick scan for through. Uh, you should be able to find these on Civit AI. Just search for the names and uh, they're in architectural or uh, background environmental Laura's. Okay, thanks for your attention. That's the lot.